Every year, the advance in medical technology has made things a little bit easier, and in some cases, less painful. In preparation for the second annual Drive for Justice campaign scheduled for later this month, we will tell you how easy it is to become a registered donor without having to deal with needles. Here's more in tonight's Health Check Report. Guam's first bone marrow drive for the Drive for Justice in 2003, volunteers were drawing pints of blood from donors. This time around, things will be much easier. Volunteers will be setting aside needles and using a more painless procedure. After stopping by the bone marrow registry in Honolulu, Dr. Thomas Shea brought back several buccal swab kits, which contain cotton applicators. All one has to do is swab four parts of an individual's cheek for 10 seconds at a time. I'm hoping that this time the island will embrace this technique and they're going to bring the kits down, about 3,000 some kits. So take advantage of it because it's free. They're actually putting a lot of money in bringing these kits over. So hopefully we can have more people come out. Hawaii first used the buccal swab kits in 2006. This is the first time Guam will be using the kits for the bone marrow drive set to take place on the 19th and 20th of this month. You can use this for DNA testing as well, but for the bone marrow, this is how we're going to get the HLA typing. And the HLA typing is certain um, um, you know, markers in your body that say, hey, your tissue type is the same. Not blood type, tissue typing, so that when you donate the bone marrow, it's like a transplantation, so the, the recipient's body doesn't reject you because there's no match. 